What you pay for gas at the pump is directly related to this right here. It's called the Strait of Hormuz, and it's a key transit point for a fifth, one-fifth, 20% of the world's oil. Iran is threatening to block it, which would result in sky-high prices. But the U.S. Navy has a plan to thwart those threats, and it involves these guys right here. This is a serious story. It involves dolphins. And Nadia Belchik joins me now for this morning's Passport. Explain this. The Navy wants okay. to use dolphins. Because what Iranians are saying is we'll block it, and one of the ways they're going to block it is with underwater mines. And the best detectors of underwater mines are not submarines or satellite communications. They are dolphins. So what the U.S. Navy has done is ramped up their training of dolphins. They've been training these dolphins for years. And interestingly enough, Gary, whales and dolphins are the only animals in the entire world that have echolocation and sonar underwater. Bats have it above water. So they are, and these particular dolphins, Atlantic bottom-nosed dolphins, are the only dolphins that can be trained to do this. And I had the pleasure of speaking to Kaj Larson, who spent, who is a former U.S. Marine and special CNN special reporter. He spent time with the Navy SEALs training these dolphins. And he said it was absolutely extraordinary seeing what they were capable of doing. So you're saying, though, that these dolphins are being trained to help U.S. military, Absolutely, basically. they are. They have this unbelievable, as I say, echolocation and sonar. They are perfectly designed to do this. And the way the Marines do this is by classic conditioning. They reward them. They reward them with fish. Kaj was telling me they love sardines. Now, if you want to understand how a dolphin sees, I spoke to Dr. Moby Solange, and he's a Marine biologist. I actually know him. You do? This is really interesting. Dr. Solange used to run the aquarium in Gulfport, Mississippi. That aquarium was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. Many of his dolphins ended up in the Gulf of Mexico, and they were able to rescue all of the dolphins, and most of those dolphins now, it's a long story, but most of those dolphins now are at the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas. Wow, How well, a, a superb yeah. expert when it comes to dolphins, as yeah, you well no, know. Smart guy. He says, imagine this, a dolphin, when you go for an ultrasound, so imagine a pregnant woman goes for an ultrasound, he says that is what a dolphin can see. That is literally the kind of X-ray vision that they have. So the U.S. Navy is training these dolphins. Now, it's interesting to see how would they transport them. Yeah, and how, would, uh, how, how do they well, go to the Strait of Hormuz? They would <laughs> basically, they could be there in 72 hours. They would transport them in circular giant pools, around 15 of them, which are 7 to 8 feet each. They would put them on a C-130 and then <laughs> airlift them to the ship. And they've got it all planned because dolphins have been used since the Gulf War. Nadia Bilchik, that's an amazing story. Thank you very much. Hopefully we won't have to use them to do that, but um, it's nice to know that um, the, the U.S. has dolphins on its side. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you.